uh, Nigel Meeking and I'm the managing director of a company called Norse European. We're sort of a worldwide exporter and we're sort of there really to help small businesses transit the get out of England with their products, get offshore, get into local markets. I think the government as a whole are very bad at telling exporters what's possible. You know, to, a, to an exporter that wants to sell his product, and it might be someone small, a niche maker, a little handbag maker, whatever, the, the idea of exporting is actually very, very complicated. Um, when you come and speak to the Institute of Export, you can realize it's not as difficult as you thought. And then there's companies like us that are the main exporters actually physically moving the goods offshore. And we have a saying called Europe Easy because we're trying to get people to re-engage re with Europe. You know, Europe put up all these barriers up with Brexit. It's just a paper flow. You've just got to understand your way through the legislation. And that's what companies like myself can help with. But I think the Institute of Export is also very, very important to help sort of dumb down what you need to do to get abroad. I think it's bureaucracy. I think it's understanding their products. You've got to have a, things like HS codes. You know, there's there's security issues around origin of goods. Um, you know, it's the EU now. You can't send foodstuffs. Um, so you know, they've been enjoying when we were part of the group. They were loving our English fisheries. Now we've got to keep it in a tank and check it doesn't have selenium. So I think that uh, although we don't export live fish. Um, the rules and regulations have completely changed that relationship. And you know, it doesn't matter if you're a big brand selling hampers or a small brand selling a niche product, you've just got to understand what your product is and what that legislation looks like. Well, we have a, a sales team that as part of that onboarding will come and talk to someone and say, okay, what's your product? Where do you want to go to? What's your market? Um, we also have some clever bits of software that can interrogate a seller's website and say, actually, do you know that you've had 75 inquiries from Japan? Maybe you should be opening up Japan, let us help you get there. So it's not all about Europe. I think, you know, there's a big world out there. Um, and sometimes I think people get very centered into what's happening in the UK. And these events show you that actually, there's a world, go, go and enjoy it.